Hi everyone, Mick Make Mail number 27. Uh, there's two packages. One I know what it is, and the other one I haven't the foggiest. Let's get stuck into it. Hi, this video is sponsored by JLC PCB, who is my main PCB supplier. They produce some very decent professional results. If you're looking for some fast prototype PCBs made, then check them out. They are currently offering 10 PCBs for only $2, with free shipping for the first order. That's a pretty insane price. But what's that got to do with mowing the lawn? I don't know. Okay, um, let's open the one that I have no idea what it is. That's probably a good start. Ah, nice. Okay, um, this was. Gotta get rid of these. Ah, great. Now they're all over the place. Fabulous. So, the uh, big clown guys um, contacted me a while ago, actually, um, and I mentioned I didn't really have much time to take a look at their one of their products. Um, so this is a, a big clown IoT kit. Um, it comes in a really snazzy box. Um, I'm quite impressed by it. And oh, oh, excellent! More of them being overrun. We've got the, I guess this is the base module, and we've got a bunch of sensors, gateway, USB, dongle, core module, uh, button module, relay module, and mini cover module, flood detector, battery, climate control, cover module, a sensor. This is looking pretty good. You know, various uh, 3D printed cases. Um, I have to say this is probably one of the the best uh, sort of kits I've seen so far. Um, it's they've gone to a lot of effort to make uh, make sure that uh, it looks pretty good. Um, like this one, ah, and a nose, just what you need. Oh, I don't think it helps. And a t-shirt, excellent. Oh, and some more sensors. I think, oh no, these are just bags. Okay, so I've got an LCD module, uh, battery module, um, yeah, tag module, okay. Oh, I've got to get rid of these things. I think we probably should fire one of these up, see uh, how far we can get into it in a couple of minutes. I think this is the LCD module, core module or something. So um, all the modules sort of stack up and you've got various uh, sensors there. How do you take this thing out though? Hmm. Okay, so we've got humidity, barometer, temperature, lux meter. Then this is the uh, LCD uh, with a couple of buttons on it. One thing I did notice is that uh, they've actually put a sort of an empty pin and a cover there. So it's actually impossible to get it around the wrong way. So they've gone to a lot of effort to make it simple, reduce the um, problems, so that's quite good. And that's the core module. I think I have actually two core modules. And it's running some sort of Bluetooth module, I can't actually see what it is. And uh, STM32, so all the STM32 aficionados <laughs> or fans out there um, would uh, jump up and down. Nice, let's uh, fire this up and see what it does. Nice. CO2, because we don't have the CO2 sensor there. I got luminescence, pressure, altitude, temperature, and humidity. Nice. Where's the instructions? Uh, should I read the instructions? I guess I have to read the instructions. Where are the instructions? Uh, let's look at the website and see what we've, uh, what we've got. Now, I have to say, the documentation's pretty good. It's actually the most complete I've seen. I really don't like uh, reading documentation. I'm a fairly uh, impatient type of person. Maybe I'm just a typical male, I don't know. Firmware upload. Okay, let's uh, choose the motion detector kit. Looks good. Uh, I need those modules. Oh, it also has an optional uh, Sigfox module and can integrate to IFTTT. Excellent, let's do it.
Alright, so we need uh, that thing, uh, mini cover module, PIR, battery core, I reckon that's it. Goes in that way. I need some batteries. Don't think I use this module. No, oh, I don't use that one. Ah, Wally, upside down. Okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, let's program it up and see what we can do with it. Okay, so some Wally didn't actually read the instructions. So apparently I've got to put into uh, DFU mode. Uh, which means uh, I need to hold down the boot button, uh, then press reset, release reset, and release uh, boot. Interesting that there's no flashing of lights. I would have expected to see some sort of flashy lights, but unfortunately there's nothing there. Okay, so now we can uh, remove that, remove that, plug in this. So next you need to pair it, and then force the uh, USB dongle into pairing mode. And then short press on the core module. It should start blinking. Okay, so once uh, you've paired it all together, um, I need to put this module on, whichever way up it goes, and then I can put the battery on, and you should be able to see um, the temperature, voltage, uh, so that's coming from the MQTT server that's running on the Raspberry Pi, so that works quite well, and you can see uh, an event came in, I'm not sure what sort of setting it's set to but obviously you picked up me moving. Um, there's also a web server on the uh, Raspberry Pi that runs uh, Node Red and you can just code up all sorts of things. Um, it's got a back end to IFTTT uh, and so forth. Um, I managed to get that going without any issue. That was a that was quite good. So it's it's actually a fairly good uh, little uh, kit. Uh, you've got you know, various uh, modules you can you can chuck in. Uh, if you don't have the USB dongle, you can actually make one of these to be the gateway between the Pi and uh, other modules. Uh, so it's it's quite extensible, and the documentation's good. So the uh, quick start guide is is I guess they assume a certain amount of knowledge. Uh, it's not for an absolute beginner. It's for someone who knows their way around a bit of electronics and understands MQTT and all that sort of stuff. You can get various kits that do certain things. There's a, uh, relay modules and a whole swag of other things you can get on their website. They've spent a lot of effort into getting this uh, kit to be as uh, professional as possible. Uh, so I need to get on to the next thing and pack all this away. Okay, the next one uh, is something I ordered from Adafruit. In fact, I ordered several things uh, because I had a, a quick project in mind that's based on MQTT, Raspberry Pi, uh, Docker, and a snazzy little uh, LED display. Uh, 
you would have seen uh, my Christmas tree game where I had, uh, I, where is it? Uh, this is my Christmas tree game. Basically is wired directly into a Raspberry Pi. Uh, the issue with this is that this particular interface, you need to bit bash uh, to get all these uh, LEDs up and running. It's an RGB display, so you've got three different colors on each pixel and it's a 64 by 32 display. The Raspberry Pi can just keep up with it. Doesn't have much headroom for anything else. So I got these modules. And these, I've got two of them. This essentially handles all the grunt work for you. You've got a very simple programming interface. So much easier. And uh, on top of that, I also got um, two of these displays, which is a 64 by 64. And I reckon I could make something fairly useful out of this. In fact, I've got a, a little uh, tutorial coming up. So uh, let's fire it all up and see how we go with this. So since I'm using a 64 by 64 RGB matrix, um, I have to solder the bottom two uh, pins. It just jumpers so you can enable the uh, extra half of the panel. It's not the uh, world's best method, but I guess that sort of works. And then we need a DC jack, and I'm going to fire up my power supply, uh, not 12 volts. Beef it up to 5.2 volts. Now, I've only got five amps on this particular power supply, so it, it'll be a bit dim. Uh, and I'll make use of this, this red nose go away. Now, theoretically, you should not be plugging it in. No, let's do it properly. I'll shut it down. Okay, so just like that. Fire up again. Okay, now we've got that all powered up. Um, lastly is the juice. Actually, I'm going to plug the Ethernet back in. Okay. Of course, nothing's going to happen uh, because there's no code running. So let's uh, run some code. A simple matter of uh, logging back in again once it's started up and there should be a couple of examples in there somewhere examples there you go look at that that's pretty cool and uh, if you look at the refresh rate it's roughly about 116 115 uh, Hertz which is a lot better than uh, what I was seeing, uh, which is about 20 hertz uh, refresh rate, so it's a really nice, uh, smooth refresh rate. That's something I can uh, put to good use. I've got a really good idea for this one, uh, but that's for another video. Uh, anyway, that's about it. Uh, we had this RGB matrix, which is just so easy, it's dead easy to get going, uh, and also the um, big clown uh, IoT kit, which I think is actually. It's a pretty decent thing. Um, it's not really for beginners. It's really something aimed for intermediate, you know, intermediate maker. Yeah, that's that's quite a good kit. Um, I'm impressed with it. Uh, so anyway, there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.